Ladies and gentlemen, the chairman of the Onslow Civic Affairs Committee, Dr. Don Herring. Good evening. We welcome each of you to this observance celebrating the Freedom Fountain. I am joined by other members of the Civic Affairs Committee and invited guests who will help us renew the pledge to appreciate the service given to our country by those who have passed through Onslow County. We welcome the Jacksonville High School Chamber Singers and the Lejeune High School Junior ROTC members who will participate in our ceremony. We welcome elected officials who are present and those who cherish freedom and we wish to honor those who helped to defend it for our nation. Slightly more than 20 years ago, the predecessors of the Onslow Civic Affairs Committee began to work to create and care for those deployed during Desert Storm and Desert Shield. Those actions later became to be embodied in what the motto for the city of Jackson is known as a caring community. It also became one of the reasons that our community won the designation as an all-American city. The first Freedom Fountain was adjacent to the Onslow Courthouse. That space was needed for the new Justice Center. The Civic Affairs Committee sought to create a new site for the Freedom Fountain after the ground first one was removed. The dream of a grand Freedom Fountain has been realized in this magnificent tribute to this community's resolve to never forget the sacrifices that are paid for freedom. At the dedication of this fountain, November 9th, 2012, this committee made a pledge to annually share the purpose of the fountain and to celebrate the freedom that is won from those who have served their country. We are here this evening, just before Veterans Day, to renew the dedication of the Freedom Fountain to all those who have come through Onslow County in service to their country. The community is well aware of the sacrifices of military service, the sacrifice of those who actually serve, the sacrifices of their loved ones, and the pain of the ultimate sacrifice. We cherish the pride that comes from serving our nation, and this fountain embraces our acknowledgement of the community's special gift of being able to live among those who serve our country. This fountain has become this community's visual, tangible and meaningful symbol of awareness, interdependence, commitment and appreciation for those who knew the price of freedom and who pay that price daily. Let us pray. O oh Lord, who knows the contents of all the hearts and minds here this evening, help us to carry forth your mission of peace and understanding while defending our freedom. We pray to you to channel our thoughts, our work, and our deeds to show appreciation for your gift of freedom and to those who daily toil in the defense of freedom. Help us to have a community that is supportive and which advances the compassion that you have showered on your people. Help us to continue the mission of freedom and to help us to support those who advance that mission. We pray that we feel your presence this evening and that this fountain allows those who serve their nation to feel our compassion, our appreciation, and our awareness of their work. Amen. Please rise for the presentation of the colors by the Lejeune High School Marine Corps Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps Color Guard. It is commanded by Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Ryan Bestool, with our national anthem being sung by Cadet Captain April Pellicor. say can you see by the dawn's early light what 
that so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the You may now be seated. We stand this evening along Freedom Way. The concept of Freedom Way has its origins during the first Gulf War. That's when Jacksonville responded to the need to provide help and assistance to military families during this sudden and what was to be expected a long extensive deployment. During that time the idea came to be to recognize the pathway that so many of our Marines and sailors took to get from the bases to be deployed. At that time the route most traveled was from our bases to the port at Moorhead City with resolutions, proclamations, or declarations from various communities from Jacksonville and Onslow County to Moorhead City, the North Carolina Department of Transportation agreed, and with support from each of its jurisdictions through which it passed, the route was named Freedom Way. This was a design by the North Carolina Board of Transportation. Signage was erected marking the route. The portion between the main gate and Swansboro was officially named Freedom Way to further the designation permanently as part of the addresses of those who live along this corridor. With the anchors being the state port at Moorhead City, a location in downtown Jacksonville was selected as the beginning. That point was generally between the two courthouses and became a sharper point with the building of the first Freedom Fountain, which became a centerpiece of the courthouse square. The first Freedom Fountain was constructed from public donations that flowed first from a project to put a flag on every major route in our community. Other donations came specific for the fountain, and a simple design was selected and built by the Onslow County government. The fountain was more a marker than a statement, but the statement it carried was strong, that the fountain honors all individuals who have passed through Onslow County in the service to their country. The first Freedom Fountain had to make way for progress. Now, this fountain stands grandly to carry forth this message of appreciation and honor for all those who passed through Onslow County in service to their country.
the site, the site where we stand today is now a gateway for downtown Jacksonville. Not too far behind you is the Lejeune Memorial Gardens, where the Beirut Memorial, Vietnam Memorial, and 9-11 Memorial are already located. The Museum of the Marines and the magnificent Mumford Point Marines Memorial is now under construction. More memorials are planned for the area. The gardens are across from the National Cemetery constructed by the Marine Corps to lay to rest some of the graves moved to make way for the construction of Camp Lejeune. That cemetery is in front of the Coastal Veterans Cemetery created by the state for our veterans. Across Lejeune Boulevard is the Jacksonville City Cemetery where generations of residents have been buried. This site expands the legacy of the Beirut Memorial, the subsequent Lejeune Memorial Garden, and the cemeteries nearby. The designation of this highway as a Blue Star Highway by the National Council of State Garden Clubs is embodied in the marker on the island to your right. The site expands the ground that is consecrated to honor those who serve and it remembers, honors, and extols the appreciation of this community for those in service to our nation. When you come up here in a bit and you see the fountain, there are certain parts of it, there, every, everything in it is a symbol of something else. In advance to the construction of this Freedom Fountain, there were three concepts that were considered. Each featured a water basin and a central water jet. And to gain input from the public, the concepts were discussed by members of the committee, in presentations on TV, and in many publications. And then a survey allowed citizens to give their opinion about which features they liked from each of the three concepts. Several hundred people participated in giving input about their ideas for what the new Freedom Fountain should look like. Now, the Freedom Fountain now has a pool with a disappearing edge, and that represents that the flow of efforts to guarantee our freedom is always ongoing. Now, quieted now for our observance, there are also 50 bubblers around the edge of the, the fountain, and those represent each of the, the states of the Union. And in the center, the tallest of the fountain jets is the tribute to freedom. And around it, also quieted for our observance, are three fountain spires. Each one represents the federal, state, and local governments. Behind you is one of the two of the flag gardens. Immediately behind you, flags represent, <clears throat> excuse me, the nation, the state, the county, and the city. This year we celebrate the completion of the second flag garden. It proudly carries each of the service flags for our nation's armed services. The Fountain Plaza is constructed of bricks that can memorialize, honor, or recognize events, persons, groups, or activities. The wall behind the fountain contains five arches representing the five services. In 2013, the medallions that brightly adorn the arches were dedicated. Benches in the area invite visitors to pause in their reflection of the price of freedom. And the plaza will encourage persons to walk around the five kiosks, which will eventually tell the story of the Freedom Fountain. Hidden beneath the water are the lights that illuminate the fountain at night. These lights are capable of painting the fountain red, white, and blue lights, and on special occasion, other colors. This evening, we especially celebrate the lights by this observance. This evening, they are cycling between red, white, and blue. They honor other causes important to our community by displaying those colors as appropriate. This fountain is clearly visible by motorists who travel these streets, and it is our hope that the tall spires of water columns and the nightly illumination will cause it to be an endearing icon of the resolution of this community to show that it cares. Ladies and gentlemen, the Jacksonville High School Chamber Singers.
We have spoken of the sacrifices made by those who serve our country, the sacrifices their families make. They do this to serve and preserve freedom. Junie Christian knows the toll. He has served his country, and here in Onslow County, he has seen the effects on families and others. He had worked with several nonprofits in Columbus, Georgia, and so when he came to Onslow County, he associated himself with those working to help nonprofits. He became associated with WNCW's Quality Enhancement for Nonprofit Organizations. As he mentored several groups in our community, when there was a need for some immediate leadership at the Women's Center, he was recruited to help right the ship for six months. Now, several years later, the ship is righted and the center is healthy and performing well. It's that leadership and sense of community that calls someone to action. Mr. Christian's good deeds are just one example of the benefits of having a large pool of talent in our community. For, <clears throat> for Junie, that was formed by his childhood childhood in Antigua in the British West Indies, and by his decision to leave that and become an American citizen in 1991. That led to his service in the military, and his service to others in Columbus, Georgia, and now his service here. Tonight, we celebrate his service to our community and his service to our nation. Junie served 24 years and one month and proudly retired as a Master Sergeant of the U.S. Army. Therefore, it is extremely and entirely appropriate that the Onslow County Civic Affairs Committee has selected the Jacksonville Onslow Chamber of Commerce 2014 Minority Advocate of the Year, Junie Christian, to give the 2015 Freedom, Freedom Fountain Address. Good evening, everyone. Mr. Mayor, members of the City Council, Madam Chair of the County Commissioners, County Commissioners, citizens of Onslow County, citizens of Jacksonville, friends, and veterans. This moment is not lost on me. As you may know, or you've heard, or, or I am an Army veteran in a Marine town. When you say, Ura, I respond, Hua. It is not lost on me that I am giving an address in a town that celebrates Marines. And so the task this evening is very special for me. It is probably one of the most significant things that I've done in my life because it says so much about this community and its ability to embrace those who pass your way. You know, freedom has many versions. There's economic freedom, there's political freedom, and there's personal freedom. And there are many other types of freedoms that we could probably discuss tonight. However, I believe and I think if you thought about it for a moment, you would think that the fountainhead of freedom is extremely spiritual. You see, freedom is not something that you can reach out and touch. I heard someone say one time, give me liberty or give me death. It has been said also that freedom 
about freedom, that freedom lies in the hearts of men and women. And when it dies, there is no power on earth, there is no law on earth, there is no court on earth, not even a constitution that can save it. You and I, who have lived in communities all across this nation, and especially here in Jacksonville, Onslow County, understand what that freedom sounds like. Listen carefully. You understand freedom. Our county understands freedom. The people of this great town understand freedom. Since its inception many, many years ago, from Marine Barracks New River to Munford Point Marines being here, you have forged a, a significant and meaningful relationship with your band of brothers just down the road. That relationship is based on faith, hope, and love. Let's talk a little bit about the faith. Marines or servicemen, when we deploy or when you leave the area, we rely and hope faithfully that our loved ones will be taken care of in our absence. This monument, this significant spot behind me that bubbles from the earth, is a testament to that faith that you have kept and that commitment that you've kept with families all throughout the years. From Korea to Vietnam, Iraq to Afghanistan, men and women of this community, our brothers and sisters, have boarded ships and planes and have gone to lands far off. And while they were away, those that they loved, those that they loved, their precious belongings were left in your hands. And time after time, you delivered. How did you deliver? As a community, you delivered special baskets that were shipped far away. As a community, you babysat while parents or mothers took a break. As a community, you made sure that all needs were taken care of. And so the faith that a soldier or a Marine has when they deploy has been well kept by this community throughout the years. Even now as we speak, many of our men and women are at far off lands in, in danger's way. And even today, in every nook and cranny of Jacksonville and Onslow County, you're still keeping that faith. You have hope that every day that from this power projection platform called Camp Lejeune, we have hope that every day that men and women will train to be strong and steady to ensure that others who are our enemies give their lives for their country and not us. You hope that through strength and through power that peace will reign supreme and that none, no other Marine or soldier would have to give his life for peace. But we know that that is not possible. We know that things will happen. But you and I have that hope. It's a hope eternal that springs constantly, just as the water springs from this fountain. That one day, in fact, we may be able to turn our weapons into plowshares. And yes, finally, love. You can see the love that this community has for Camp Lejeune. And yes, I witness the love that Camp Lejeune has for you on a day-to-day -day basis. Many of you who sit in this 
arena, from the sheriff department to the mayor to citizens, day out and day in, do small acts of kindness that touch the lives of Marines and their families here every day. Just today, a Marine family who had been in trouble needed to get to the airport, needed a simple act of just needing to get to the airport. And the call came from Camp Lejeune. And that young lady was able to make her flight. Yes, you love your Marines. Yes, you love your soldiers. Yes, you have compassion for them. As citizens, let me tell you just a little bit about you. Where are my veterans that are sitting in the, in the audience? Raise your hand if you're a veteran. Please give those veterans a round of applause. I think it is said that old soldiers never die. They just hunch over a little bit when they salute. But day in, my friends, day in and day out, you give back to this community and you ensure, you ensure through your compassion, through your watchful eye that our Marines and our soldiers and our Naval personnel have what they need. And it is not lost on me. Many times mo moving up and down or driving up and down one of our local highways and byways, when someone is in trouble, typically, normally, guess who stops to help? Whether it's a tire that needs to be changed or whether somebody's hood is open and there's smoke coming from, from, the, from the engine, it is normally a service member, a young service member these kinds of things, ladies and gentlemen, do not happen in communities do not, that do not have the kind of relationships that we have here in Jacksonville and Onslow County. The unity is clear. The love that flows from breast to breast is clear. And so tonight here we are at a fountain. I can hear it behind me. The water gushing constantly reminding us of that faith, of that hope, and that love that we have for each other. On any given Saturday morning, as you drive by this fountain, people are taking pictures or tossing coins into that fountain. During special celebration, this place that celebrates those who have passed through here and gone on to serve for freedom, serves as a place to remind us of some of the things that we do so well in this community, from domestic violence watch to breast cancer watch. You'll see that the colors will, will, will brighten against the night sky in such a beautiful way. And so tonight as we remember, as we think back of the thousands that have passed through this, this place, this place called Onslow County, I hope that you will take credit for the faithfulness that you have maintained with them. I hope that you will have comfort and pray for the hope that they will be powerful and strong and project power and peace all across this nation. And I hope that you will come all across this world. And I hope that you'll remember that while they are gone, that you will hold their families in the bosom of your heart, in the bosom of your heart, and love them and hold them dear until their loved ones come back to them. God bless you, God bless Jacksonville, and God bless our county. Ladies and gentlemen, the Jacksonville High School Chamber Singers.
Good evening. We have spoken of the sacrifices made by those who serve our country. The sacrifices that families make, they do this to serve and preserve freedom. It's that leadership and sense of community that calls someone to action. Representatives of our community and places that make up Onslow County are now asked to make their way to the Freedom Fountain for the symbols renewal of the joint spirit of appreciation this community as a whole has for those who have passed through Onslow County in service to their country. Each will bring a vial of water from their community to mix with uh, what uh, fills our fountain. Fountain. This renewal of the shared part, spirit of the community continues our pledge to never forget the sacrifices of those who serve to defend our country and the sacrifices their family and loved ones also share. Thank you. To each of you who have served your country while in Onslow County, or those who today serve your country while here, on behalf of Onslow Civic Affairs Committee and all those whom it represents, we say thank you. As each community or neighborhood is called, please approach the fountain basin and pour your contribution into the Freedom Fountain Pool. Representing Sneets Ferry, Stump Sound areas, and other portions of Onslow County, Commission Chairman Barbara Eichner. Representing Hubert and other portions of Onslow County, Commissioner and Civic Affairs Committee Member Jack Bright. Representing other portions of Onslow County, Commissioner Millionaire Williams. Representing the neighborhoods of Jacksonville, Jacksonville Mayor Sammy Phillips and Council Member Bob Warden. Representing the neighborhoods of Richlands, Richlands Mayor McKinley Smith. And representing Onslow County, Sheriff Hans Miller. We also invite all other elected officials to join in and share in the renewal of the water. Let us together renew our pledge made by this fountain by you joining me in reading the portions in the pledge marked in bold in the blue section of your program. Together as a community, we give thanks for our freedom. Together as a community, we give honor to those who defend our freedom. Together as a community, we renew our dedication of this fountain to all those who have passed through Onslow County in service to their nation. Together, as a community, we pledge to never forget the sacrifices of military service. Together, as a community, we honor their families, loved ones, and those who support them for their sacrifices. Together, as a community, we pledge to faithfully observe and renew the purpose of this Freedom Fountain. Let us pray. O oh, eternal God, mighty in power and of majesty, we rejoice in your presence that we are able to enjoy freedom to worship, to speak, to live, to laugh, and prosper. We celebrate the sacrifice of those who have defended our freedom and ask that you preserve in our memory these sacrifices in order that we might provide a fitting tribute to all those who have or will serve their country and who will pass through our community. We pray to you that watch over those who serve now and those who serve in the future and that you watch over those who have served. Help us to guard this treasure. Be blessed by it. 
nurture it and pass it on to the coming generations that they may forever appreciate and recognize the cost of freedom. We pray to you to watch over this fountain and that as the water circulates continually, that your eternal love is manifested in the spirit that has caused this fountain to be built here. Lord, grant those who enter this blessed plaza your eternal gift and the gift of appreciation for the service of others. In your holy name we pray. Amen. And now, let's return the fountain to its full glory. First, the bubblers that represent the 50 states. And then, the trio of fountain jets that represent the federal, state, and local governments. This fountain has become a place of pride. Pride for a community who recognizes the sacrifices of service to the country. And pride in living together as a community with those who serve now and those who have served. It will stand as a testament to the role of this community has offered in the defense of freedom now, in the past, and in the future. It is our hope that those who pause here or who travel these well-worn routes that surround it will see this fountain as a resolve of a community. It will be a duty century, the silent testimony, the illuminated beacon to tell the story of a community that appreciates being able to live among those who serve and support our freedom. Thanks to each of you for your participation tonight in this event. Good evening. Ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome to take a vow to save some of the new water that makes up our Freedom Fountain and to add to your collection as a souvenir. Members of the Jaxel Youth Council will mingle among you to pass out empty vows. Please join us in the atrium for refreshments and thank you for attending this evening's observance. Thanks, sir. Thank you very much for being with us tonight, sir. Yes, sir.